Good morning, my Abba are back. Here's the plan. It is build day 106. The last episode we filmed was 101. So we have a lot of catching up to do. Both with the perimeter wall, inside the house, the swimming pool, basically everywhere. So it's catch up day and hopefully it's haircut day. I've got to get rid of this bouffant mess. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start here at the corner of the north and west walls. Maya Barbak, Rico, where we have the top beam going in and I believe they are going to increase the height of this north wall by Maya by Abak Ali by at least one concrete hollow block and it might be two. So there is more work still to be done on this north side. They have got the west wall up to a tie beam for about two thirds of its distance, I believe, but we'll go and have a look down at the other end and see it might be a little more than that. So yeah, I was wrong. It extends all the way to within, what's that? One, two, three sections of the corner. Again, I'm not sure if that's the full height. It may be that after the tie beam they put another layer or two, we will see. But then heading around the corner, those of you that have put in low numbers for the when is the wall going to be completed competition, I think you'll be a bit concerned. So where we turn the corner, next to the cornfield, next door, we have partial trenches dug, but this big beast still has not been really attacked, they've done a little bit. A little bit of trench dug here, and then still all sorts of nonsense to deal with. So this is gonna be fairly slow progress, I suspect, to get down to where the neighbors are, where, they turn, where we turn the corner again, and go back across to where we meet up with the wall that's already done. So yeah, this is not gonna be that fast. Here at the swimming pool in deep shade, shadow uh, we are getting close to pouring a slab for the floor there's a little bit more work still to do on rebar but it is mostly done and I am told that we may be pouring a floor slab tomorrow and it will be ready mix trucks after that there is the hand packing of the walls and there will be ultimately two layers of waterproofing materials i'm not sure what they are yet but there will be two layers of waterproofing materials uh, for the whole pool so we are getting closer and closer to a pool we did make a small design change over the break and we have confirmed there will be a very shallow area somewhere roughly in the middle of the shot right now uh, which will be maybe half a foot deep with retaining walls on both sides so that the any any toddlers can splash around in relative safety although of course you know anytime kids and small kids in water even very small levels of water still have to be supervised, but at least it gives them somewhere they can just sit and splash. But yeah, close to some kind of a beginnings of a floor inside the house. We'll start in the gym stroke spa area. This is looking out of a window that will be in the spa. So this wall is done. The window has been partly framed well they've got the top beam in place anyway wall finished all around this wall not yet finished still need to complete that but there will be a, a, a fairly high window up where you can see now 
and then as previously discussed this wall will come out we want to not restrict ourselves for a, a, an idea of something that might come in the future back into the gym itself and we're not yet fully up to height yet with these walls but Romwell's working on a little bit more here. That'll just be a very low wall, uh, either one or two levels of hollow block, and then glass windows where Romwell is putting those blocks now, and just here. Then we'll walk out. This is still inside the gym at the moment. Heading over to what will be the dirty kitchen. So again. Not quite done here. We will have really very big windows that are easy to open here because the whole point of the dirty kitchen is to cook your smelly stuff. And we need, obviously, then the ability to let that smell dissipate out of some very big windows. So that's what's happening here. Take your dizzy pills. This is gonna be the sunroom or living two and we have made a decision about walls here. So previously, this is heading back into the theatre room, which, by the way, all the walls are now done. But coming into the house from the front door there, this wall I think we're now going to leave just a big opening. We're still discussing with the builder whether to put some kind of door in here or not. We might just leave it open. But along here is the decision we made. So on the right side, as you're looking at it, is the dining room. On the left side is the sunroom. The left side will be left completely open. The right side will be some kind of glass wall with hopefully some fairly big sliding doors of some description and we'll have a look at the rest of the house in a moment so again deep shadow but this is the downstairs if you like spare bathroom uh, not the biggest but big enough and then the powder area as described by the builder so those walls all done so I am standing at the edge of the main kitchen. So if we wander down this way, that straight ahead of us ultimately is the dirty kitchen. But if you have seen previous videos, you will know this is a laundry room and this is a helper's room with a bathroom. And the dirty kitchen we've kind of seen already, so we'll head back into the main kitchen. Pretty big pantry, bigger than I appreciate. We have moved a couple of things around within the kitchen, but not structurally. So double doors here, window over here, and this window has now been kind of framed in again. Um, so fairly big window looking out. And then there here will be the double doors mostly glass leading into the dining room so we did switch some things around here I will probably put some renderings in the video maybe tomorrow something new this is one of the two septic tanks that we will have uh, I was a little concerned that being so close to the house we might be subject to smell but the builder assures me that shouldn't be an issue, or it won't be an issue. Maybe slightly unusually, it will only be a two-chamber septic tank, not what I've seen on a number of other builds where they have three chambers. But the builder says we only need two, it makes life a little easier. I don't know if there's too much of a downside. It doesn't look like a particularly big septic tank to me. But there will be two of them, so hopefully the fact that there's two compensates for the relatively small size of the one here. So finally for now, 
look from the front of the house, the kitchen over on the right, the dining room, which uh, this wall is going to be left for quite a long time uh, because it gives them easy access. In fact, it may well not be a wall until they've done most, if not all, of the walls upstairs. Then we have the entrance hall and the living room. So that's it for now. We'll try and resume normal service during the day and give little updates as we go. Well, it's early afternoon, so we'll have a quick whiz around, starting here at the pool. Metalwork still going on, framing inside where the seating area will be at the moment. I imagine that must be one of the last bits to do if they're going to hit tomorrow's target of pouring concrete. Here in the kitchen, we have tithing being poured. So above that, clearly there are still what, a couple of layers of concrete hollow blocks to go, but close to walling in the kitchen. And it's the same story here in the dirty kitchen. Not quite at uh, pouring concrete stage yet, but that beam is being prepared. Here at the gym, it's a shame, but that wall between the gym and the spa is gone as we requested. So I don't like seeing people having to knock down what they've built. How bad, if that's still a thing. But uh, that wall is gone. Here back at the first of the two septic tanks, the two chambers now are defined. We have a separate wall, the beginnings of the separation wall between the digestive chamber and the leaching chamber. Okay, back at the west wall, the top tie beam is now done to within about five sections of the corner, right in front of us here. Well, the done section is not the corner. Corner is just over there where the digging crew are tucking into the dirt. Let's go and have a look. The digging and hacking crew is making a start on this tree stump. We obviously, well, you can't see, but we cannot get the massive loader back here to attack it, the bob elephant. This is all going to have to be done manually. And right now, they're just digging away with spades. After that, I'm not sure if, they're, if they can use a, a chainsaw to help. We shall see over the next, well, it might be two or three days, it might be even longer. And then, we're going to do it all over again with the next one over here and behind that more stuff to move this is going to be slow progress well the question of my chainsaw has been answered here comes coilito with that very item it's the end of the day the bell has gone and we're back over here on the west wall where the top tie beam now extends to within the last three sections then the intermediate tie beam exists for the last three and now the wall has started to turn the corner we'll go a little bit closer and have a look the first part of this wall is up and they were using the chainsaw earlier on to hack away at some of the roots of this monster but there's clearly still a lot left to do to get it out and then they move on to the one that we looked at earlier looks to be a slightly smaller one but still going to take some time to get that out the swimming pool the question is did they do enough to allow them to pour the concrete base tomorrow? The answer is, I don't know. Come back and find out. But I'm not sure whether they did everything that they wanted to do today. Tune in for tomorrow's exciting episode. House walls. So we are filled in here at the gym. Not quite done yet where the window will be in the spa we saw earlier they knocked down that internal wall that we don't want anymore 
and then they still have basically the wall of the entrance door. Let's go inside and see what else they've got up to. Dirty kitchen, where they were preparing the rebar earlier on for that top beam. Uh, and I am not sure whether they poured concrete. I can't see any signs of having poured concrete. Probably, again, we'll find out tomorrow. But while we're here, I don't think this was done before. So they have now created that small window for this downstairs bathroom. Uh, just a few more, a couple more levels of concrete hollow block to go to get it fully up to the height of the roof. The wall between the dining room and the kitchen, the top part, pretty sure that's new. So that is now done, the concrete hollow block on this wall. And it was already done over on this side. So really all we're left with is that front wall that they're gonna leave for quite some time and then the basically glass wall that's right where I'm standing and that's clearly going to be a little bit longer. Here's the helper's room and they are starting to fill in the gap up to the top of the roof on that external wall and the same thing here for the laundry room. It won't be long before those beams are poured and those walls are filled in. In the main kitchen, again, almost fully done on this wall. Little tiny bit to do still at the top with partial concrete hollow blocks. And then I think tomorrow, given that they poured the concrete in this beam today, there's a fair chance they'll fill in that top gap as well here on the north side of the kitchen. The septic tank, number one. That dividing wall fully up to height. No sign of any pipe can connecting one side to the other i guess that'll come next one thing that is slightly less noticeable here is there's been a lot of backfill done all along this section of wall both here looking towards the front of the house and around to here so they really are adding quite a bit more height to the ground just here and i think more still to come so that's it, the day is done, catch up day, 106. We have seen a lot of progress on the walls in the house uh, over the last five days. And some of the walls internally now, quite a number of the internal walls are actually fully concrete hollow blocked in. Still clearly here at the dining room and the living room my guess is the living room, this front wall is probably next on the agenda. As I said earlier, the dining room, this wall won't be done for quite some time because it gives them a good access into the house and then up to what have they got to do upstairs. And upstairs they have been preparing those wooden boards. You might be able to zoom in on one over there. Uh, to guide them with the height of each row of the hollow block. They've been doing quite a few of those upstairs. So they have been preparing to move up. But that's it. Day's done. It's good to be back. The boredom factor was off the scale for the last couple of days. But now we're back here and hopefully we can carry on with minimal interruptions from now on. So, see you tomorrow.